As the COP26 climate summit continues in Scotland, it's being reported that in India, installed renewable energy capacity increased by more than 250% in the last six to seven years. For more about India's work in the fight against climate change, we are joined by Mr. Prasad Kunduri. He's a former senior associate editor of the Tribune India. Thank you very much uh, for your time this evening, Mr. Kunduri. So we know that many countries uh, across the globe have been slow to join uh, the move towards renewable in the fight against climate change. So it's very encouraging to see great strides from India. Um, as a country that really needs to get a move on in our own uh, move towards renewable energy, South Africa is going to be looking towards successful implementation across the globe for guidance. Tell us, how did you motivate as a country for um, a move, a drastic move towards renewables? Well, I think... Uh... For a long time, the country has been preparing for moving to renewables uh, because they had, there's a long feeling that uh, dependence on fossil fuels has to come down. Of course, as we speak uh, today, the fossil fuels, especially thermal power, coal, is, uh, contributes about 50% plus in terms of energy mix. Uh, but there is a very strong commitment from the government and is pushing the people and also to accept uh, more healthy and more environmentally friendly uh, alternatives. So as the, uh, as, as the COP, the Prime Minister of India, Mr. Narendra Modi, had announced uh, that India is going to work for a plan which is kind of free up and work for renewable energies, which will work up to about uh, between 450 gigawatts to 500 gigawatts by 2030 onwards. Uh, it's, a, it's an ambitious target. Uh, there's, there's, there are a lot of areas in which work is in progress. So uh, it's, it's raising consciousness among people, especially among the urban sector. It is very hard. Which forms of renewable energy are most utilized in India? Well, you see, we are abundant in sun, like probably South Africa is in major parts of uh, major time of the year. Uh, so one area is, uh, of course, solar energy. India has launched a major initiative in terms of international solar alliance. And very recently at the COP, the prime minister has announced one sun, one world energy uh, concept. Uh, well, that's a work in progress, but India has been working for a long time on the thermal, uh, getting away from the thermal energy to work on alternate fuels, which includes hydroelectric, because we have a lot of natural resources. Uh, so that's one area which India has been working for a pretty, pretty long time. Uh, as I would say, it's, it's, it's a work in progress. It's not that we're going to do it tomorrow. Uh, but yes, uh, there's a conscious effort to build uh, a co effort to work on the direction, in the direction. So at this uh, COP26, we've seen over 130 billion pledged to South Africa uh, to move us towards cleaner energy. But some local analysts are saying that even though that pledge has been made, it's unlikely that South Africa will in the coming future see a move away from coal uh, for financial reasons. Um, how do we motivate our policymakers to, to make that move uh, despite a long reliance on coal? Well, what I think is even India faces the same dilemma because as I probably mentioned a little while ago, uh, over 50% of our energy requirement is met by uh, coal uh, generation from coal. Uh, so the idea is uh, India has decided that while we will not work on coal and coal-fired power plant uh, will increase our capacity to generate electricity and energy demand, energy requirements through alternate fuels, uh, alternate sources of renewable energy, wind, solar, uh, of course, as I mentioned, uh, thermal is a very, very uh, strong component of that. Uh, and of course, nuclear energy, we, we will not forget nuclear energy because India has been a pioneer in that uh, field for a long time. And Post the U.S. Uh, Indo-U.S. nuclear deal, there is a great effort to push towards that uh, direction. Of course, there are environmental concerns of a different nature in play. But yet, so there's an energy mix, energy basket that India is looking at. Uh, so as I said, 
uh, from 135 gigawatts of renewable energy is what India is looking at in the next few years. It's an incremental push towards that with the promise that let us not uh, look for energy from coal. In countries where the move towards renewable energy is not made quickly enough, we have seen uh, international pressure to do so. Is India likely to, to put pressure on South Africa or to join pressure groups uh, should that move towards cleaner energy in South Africa not take place in the next two to five years? India, I assume, and India, I presume, is a country which realizes the demand on a growing economy. India itself is the same issue. Uh, while we have been arguing for a pretty long time, if I take you back to 1992, the general uh, or some, India has been a model that the world wants to get. While, uh, like South Africa, we need development, we need to uh, go ahead with the rest of the world, uh, is the model which we are looking at is different. That's one area that is a, is, is a concept that everybody is looking at. Uh, I don't I don't personally see that South Africa or India would put any pressure on any country for that matter, especially the developed countries, be it South Africa or other parts of the world, to kind of say, hey, you don't do this. So let's, let's I mean, collectively we would like to look at the, uh, a solution which works for best for all of us while we take care of the requirements of development for our own country. Thank you very much for your time. That was Prasad Kunduri, former senior associate editor of the Tribune India.